peace and love family um it's elada i wanted to re i wanted to make this recording yesterday well last night <laughs> when it happened but i I'm, I'm making this uh recording to share a testimony you guys um i love the most high i have a very deep uh ethereal uh connection to him right um, but I don't spend time with him the way that I'm supposed to. Now I, I do, I do pray, uh, you know, often throughout the day, but my prayers aren't lengthy like they used to be because I'm so busy. Um, and I'm so tired from working so much and, you know, I just have a lot of responsibilities. Everything is on me. Um, and you know, sometimes, you know, I get caught up in the world too much, uh, listening to music and things like that. So God is like, the relationship is one sided. You know how, like when you love someone, you want to be intimate with them. You want to feel them. You want to know that they love you too. Now, of course the most high, he knows all things and he gives us, he gives us free will, but he was like a lady. I love you so much, but you know, your, your queer, you know, he's like, you know, your, your, um, prayers are getting shorter and shorter. And, you know, I understand you're busy, but you need to make more time for me. I love you. Love me back. Be intimate with me. This is how our father, the most high looks at us. We can give our attention to things of the world and to the world, but not him. If you love someone, you want their attention. He loves us. So he wants our attention. So, um, God, and this this ties back into what I said in a previous video a while back, how Satan and the Most High, they work together. Satan works for the Most High. Let's just put it out there. It's, and it's obvious, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're adults now. We're not children anymore. This isn't a fairy tale. This is real. This is the God that we serve. All, all angels, are all, all archangels, all uh, demons, uh, Satan, they are all under him. Okay, but it's just a hierarchy. And Satan and his demons happen to be the most low. And the Most High and his angels happen to be the Most High. So, but they, they all work together simultaneously. You guys, when I tell you that I was under a heavy, heavy, heavy spiritual attack yesterday, it was insane. So check this out. First, it started with a dream where I had a dream where someone was feeding me something in a dream. And we all know that if if you're if someone is feeding you something in a dream or you're eating something in a dream, that's a sign of witchcraft. That's a sure sign of witchcraft. And also um, in the next dream that I had, I had a dream that I was going back to my old place of residence, you know, where I grew up at. And you all, you, we all know that that's a sign of witchcraft and that's a sign of stagnation and delay. So immediately when I woke up, because I know how to interpret dreams, that's another gift that I have. I have the gift of interpretation. So I'm like, oh my God, I know something is going on. So I remember the day after that, it just felt so weird leading up to yesterday, which was when all, when all hell broke loose. Um, yesterday just felt really weird to me even worse than the day before when I had those two dreams the two warnings um it just felt weird because like I'm real big on energy and I can feel when like the universe shifts or like when the atmosphere shifts around me to feel weird like very weird I can't explain it so when I tell you like attacks were coming at me through every angle I'm like oh my god what is going on I kept seeing the three sixes everywhere I kept seeing black cats everywhere uh people were being rude to me and you know I'm, I'm, we all know that I'm working on standing up for myself. So I did stand up for myself, you know, when I was disrespected. But, you know, it's like people were just being rude to me and things weren't going right. Every like it's like everything bad that could happen was happening. Like I said, I kept seeing black cats everywhere. I kept seeing the three sixes, all signs of satanic attack. Right. And my garage door. Another thing, you guys like my garage door, it kept opening by itself like repeatedly i'm like oh my god so this is what i did y'all i said okay lord i get it i get it lord when i saw that garage door opening and shutting by itself last night i said you know what i know this is a demonic attack but i also know that this is the most high trying to get my attention because to be honest i've been neglecting him i have to live in my truth and, and speak this so i can help another brother or sister out there so this is what i did y'all because, you know, I'm fasting anyway. I, I fast all the time, you know. So all of this is happening in the midst of my fast, right? So let me tell you, honey, I went and I got my um, prayer oil that I keep on his altar because I have an altar for the Most High where I, where I serve him dinner. I'll fix him food. I'll buy him flowers. I'll buy him balloons. I'll buy him Father's Day cards, you know, just cards in general, letting him know that I love him. Um, I'll fix him water and things like that. I'll 
you know, I'll fix him fruits. You know, I just have an altar that's dedicated to him. And that's where I go to pray a lot, where I, where I kneel and bow before him and pray. So I went and got that prayer oil, you guys. I started anointing every door in my house. I went outside and I started anointing. And I, ple- I, I pleaded the blood of Jesus, Yeshua, all over my house, all over my car, all over my house, all over my, all, all over the land. Um, I, I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. Um, even friends of mine said I don't even speak to anymore. I just prayed for everybody last night. Do you hear me? Even my YouTube listeners, I prayed for everybody and I pleaded the blood of Jesus against these satanic demonic attacks because it's not just me. It's also other brothers and sisters out there that are being heavily attacked. Right. So I was just praying for everybody, even people I don't speak to anymore. I was calling out everybody name. I was like, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over him. I plead the blood of Jesus over her. Like when I tell y'all I covered everybody in prayer last night, y'all, I prayed for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes straight. That Holy Spirit was moving so heavy on me. When I was done praying, I was sweating and my and my voice was hoarse. And when I looked up at the clock, you guys, when I looked up at the clock, guess what time it said? Three, three, three. The clock said three, three, three. That was confirmation. And let me tell y'all, when I was done praying, it's like the energy cleared. Something came over me. The energy shifted. And today is a brand new day. And I just feel so rejuvenated, so refreshed. And I know that the Most High is with me. And the Most High is like, see, I just want your attention. So when I, this goes back to when I was saying, the Most High uses the Satan to come, the the Most High uses Satan to come against you, to get your behind on track, to get you right. Okay. You have to stop looking at it. Oh, it's just the devil. No, You, you have to understand that God, Satan can't do nothing that the creator doesn't allow him to do. He created Satan. You guys have to understand the game that they are playing. Okay. He had to allow me to get attacked so I could pray. Cause like I said, my prayers as the months and days and weeks get by, my prayers were getting short and short. Cause like I said, I'm so busy. I'm running a business. I'm a mom. I have other things that I'm doing. You know, it's just a lot on my plate, you know, and I'm a one woman army. You know, I run, I do everything by myself. So I'm just tired, you know, but that's still not an excuse. You have to serve the most high. We have to be in submission to him at all times. So you guys, like I said, man, that was a powerful warfare prayer, man. Oh my goodness. Cause like I said, I was being heavily attacked. Like I said, the last straw for me was when my garage door started opening and, sh- and shutting by itself. I said, you know what? I wasn't afraid. Cause I'm like, you know what? I know it was God. Yes. He allowed spirits to attack you, but let me tell you guys something. The Bible says all things work together for the good of them that love him. If God didn't allow me to be attacked like I was yesterday, I would have not done that hour and 15 minutes warfare prayer. Like I said, when I was done praying, I looked up at the clock and it said three, three, three. But some people are going to get touched because let me tell you, I, I and also fasting too. your prayers are the most powerful when you are fasting. So I was fasting and praying like i said i don't even want to call the names you know because a lot of uh, some of the people that i prayed for i don't even speak to them no more but i still love them and if they watching this video they know that i love them um so like i said i was praying for him and her and my mom my dad my sister my brothers my daughter my future children i prayed over my womb the most high told me to anoint my womb because i know i have a son that's promised to me um i was just praying for, i was praying for my husband i don't even know the man but i was praying for him um i was pleading the blood of jesus over him the blood of jesus over my marriage over my business over everybody else's business because like i said i want everybody to win i want everybody to prosper. i was praying for other people's marriages let me every uh other people's children like everybody's business everybody who's in school everybody everybody who's struggling i was praying for the brothers in prison the sisters in prison the the homeless i was praying for the children that are being abused man let me tell you when i told you i covered everything i was praying for black people for black people to wake up and turn from their sins and return back to the most high i was praying for everybody to get along white black asian whatever you name it because we are all humans at the end of the day and i was just praying for this world to be covered by love and for us to all for all of us to turn from our sins and, you know, repent and turn back to the most high. So, you guys, this is a, a little this may not seem like it's anything to you. But to me, it was a big deal because I know it was a lesson. You know, it was a blessing in the lesson. So, you guys, I love you. And um, God was like, yeah, you better get right, girl. Don't play with me. I love you. Spend time with me. Be intimate with me. So he is our father and he wants our full undivided attention. And he definitely whipped me back into shape, literally, figuratively, 
emotionally and spiritually. And yes, I am working on standing up for myself, you guys. I'm 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 tired of being disrespected because I'm I'm looking at it like you you are you are a human just like me. You're flesh and bones just like me. Do not disrespect me. Just because I'm nice and mild mannered and meek and quiet and don't like like I get on here and talk, but people who know me in person, I'm very shy and quiet and very humble. And so I think people look at me and the way I look and they just feel that I'm somebody that they can disrespect. But I am. It's 2024. I'm working on that. Um, I, I, I cannot call myself a business owner and I'm allowing people with evil spirits in them disrespect me. So, you know, you guys, I love you. Peace and love.